Do you love your elder sister and her multi-target demonic attacks? Join me and we find out if this series is worth reading. That man and his merch. Hello and welcome to That Man. That is my merchandise and today we are talking about the elder sister like one. And wow, this was an interesting series that I haven't really heard much about but is one that had really taken off in Japan. I mean, she's a devil girl sister. What's not to love? Now, most of you who follow this channel are already aware of the series Do You Love Your Mom and a two-hit multi-target attacks. And I'm really excited to see that the person who draws the artwork for this series draws the artwork for the elder sister like one, which is already something that makes you so. When an orphan encounters the eldritch demon Shub Nigiref, the black goat of the woods with a thousand young, she offers him one wish. His request? Become my big sister. Honestly, when I first heard about this series, I wasn't sure because I thought it was going to be that kind of kind of creepy little story. Um, it, it's pretty obvious that in Japan we tend to have a lot of series that focus on younger girls being the, the adorable younger sister. It's not often that we have the older sister as a main protagonist or slash loved one and that's one of the things I kind of liked about this it, it it doesn't kind of have the whole fetishness of younger people that other series awkwardly stumble around and this isn't just kind of like yep do you want this sister who's not related to you she's a beautiful demon girl knock yourself out and I honestly genuinely enjoyed my time with this one it's a series that we don't see a lot of it. If you've read the Mom Isakai one, you pretty much know what you're going to get into. It's about a demon girl who just wants to belong. She just wants to be loved by humans. She hasn't really done anything wrong. And a young man who just wants to be acknowledged. He's classed as a cursed child. He can see demons and stuff like that. He wants to be loved by someone. So already he kind of straight away goes, I want an older sister, please be my older sister, and she grants that wish. Most of the stories in this pretty much plot around the whole of a dear, dear life, and I liked that. It wasn't really a, an, an epic fantasy adventure, which I was expecting when I kind of went in. I'm not going to lie, I really expected another mom isekai year thing with this. Instead, it's just the whole build up with the young man and the demon older sister. And then it's just kind of dear to dear stuff. But then it gets very comfortable. And this is the kind of stuff like we have the lap pillows and we have the ear cleaning thing, which seems to be a thing. Yeah. And it all feels very snug and warm and very caring. Um, yes, there is a lot of etchy scenes in it. And it kind of feels a little bit more appropriate. She doesn't know how to act as a human because she's a demon and he's kind of the whole awkward fumbling around being well I'm a young male kind of thing but I've asked her to be an older sister I just want to be loved by my older sister I kind of have the impression that by the end it's going to be a romance and they're going to end up getting together which is kind of awkward I see it but so far it's just stupidly fun I mean one of the fun chapters I remember seeing was that was, that, was when she tries to cook some food and she's trying to cook stuff and she's just chopping through the table or she's going well we're gonna have placenta and he's just like we can't eat that I don't want to eat that and she's like really whenever people summon me they often give me a placenta as a kind of thing I just thought it was some kind of human delicacy and he's just like no no it isn't and one of the other things I'm kind of noticing is that we I, I, I think it's gonna end up as a kind of a a fighting manga he can see these other devils and he can see these other monsters and stuff like that these shadow things and she's just like oh well not many normal people can see that and he's just like oh I've always been able to see them they've kind of just been they were uncomfortable but now I just kind of stay out of the way and I kind of like well she's a devil or she's a demon he's, he can see them they're probably gonna end up fighting them all it's gonna be like a Yu Yu Hakusho or Bleach kind of thing I'd imagine except with more boobs more boobs. I know Bleach was kind of uh, a little bit like that anyway. But I'm really intrigued on where this is going. My only issue at the moment is that at the moment it only seems that like there's three volumes. Um, I've only read volume one with the intention of buying two and three. I really hope there's more. 
Um, I can see a listen for Volume 4, but it doesn't look like it's been released. And in English, Volume 3 was the last one that was released back in May. Yeah. Um, not going to lie, I really hope there's more of this, and I really hope he is doing a little bit more of this, because from what I read so far, I really enjoyed it, and I really want more of it. Not going to lie, this artist really, really likes to draw older women. Which is completely fine, I don't mind the fact that he's actually drawn older women and it's a nice difference to other series where it's just all schoolgirls and Kia where it's like, I'm a majestic, beautiful older woman, I'm all mature. But maybe that's because I love Nico Robin as my favourite character. Hmm, that might be why. The series already seems to be rather popular in Japan, with multiple figures released and on their way. A crossover with the mom Isekai is also due to come soon. Overall, I would definitely say the elder sister like one is worth your time. It's fun, it's not overly ridiculous and it's not as etchy as you would expect it. It's got moments here and there, but it's not that you're gonna be able to read it and you're gonna be able to hide, you're gonna to have to hide it from someone you love or whatever it's not you, you might get a little bit judged but it's not over the top ridiculous that you kind of be like i can't read this ever it's a fun read and i would really recommend it if you enjoyed do you love your mom on a two hit multi target attacks to the point that they are actually doing a crossover between these two characters yeah i can't wait for that I'm really excited. In fact, that's probably one of the more exciting things. There's not an anime so far, which I was quite surprised about. It needs an anime. I think once the, once the anime gets off, this will really take off a huge amount. And the question is, do you like the elder sister like one? Let me know in the comments. And is she best girl? Hmm. She's got a she's good contender. But then again, maybe everyone's just best girl. That's it from me. Thank you for coming. Thanks again for staying. If you did enjoy this, please leave a like. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.